Hey there, Pisces, and welcome to Divine Conversations, and welcome to this general energy reading for you. Thank you all so very much for tuning in. Please keep in mind that this is a general reading. Yes, so please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. We absolutely could be speaking to a cross-watcher here. So if you are cross-watching for a Piscean energy and this resonates for you, even though I'm speaking to Pisces, then just take it as it resonates, okay? Place yourself place this reading in your life as it fits for you naturally yeah uh so this is a general reading this is also a timeless reading even though this is being channeled during the month of september it could resonate for you at any time all right so uh whenever you're guided to watch this reading and it resonates then that's the message for you in that moment now if you're familiar with me then you know that here on the channel when we talk about astrology we talk about it from the uh, the, from the true sidereal system. But even if you are not familiar with true sidereal astrology, you've never heard about that before, or you just don't resonate with it, that's okay. You don't have to subscribe to the true sidereal system to resonate with this reading. This is just a general reading for the energy of Pisces, okay? So if you resonate with the energy of Pisces, then you will most likely resonate with this reading, yeah? We're gonna get into this for you, Pisces. Please make sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe if you feel so inclined and haven't done so already. Um, if you would like a personal reading with me, I am available for that. Check the information in the description box below where I list my email address and the readings that I offer. Shoot me an email, let me know you're interested, and I will be more than happy to get you all set up. Yes, Pisces? All right. Excellent. Let's get into this for you. I want to start with some Oracle cards here and we're going to start with this deck here. All right. So for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus and or any other placement you may have. What's going on for Pisces? What are your messages for Pisces at this time? Please, Spirit. I'm seeing green energy for you. Okay. And the first card you have here is in perfect harmony. What I want to say to you, Pisces, is trust your heart. OK, because I'm seeing green energy for you as I'm channeling your energy here. Um, and that ha normally I think of your heart chakra with that. Um, trust your heart, whatever your heart is saying to you at this time, trust it because you are in perfect harmony here. You are in greater alignment with the universe, a perfect alignment with the universe. Um, you're perfect as you are. You don't have to change anything. You don't have to be anything different. You don't have to be anyone different. I feel like however it is you're being influenced to move forward with or being whatever it is you're being guided towards, this absolutely could be a career change for you. Um, it also could be love and romance for you. You need to understand, Pisces, that you are perfect exactly as you are. And whatever change is being influenced for you here, however you're being guided by your heart here, it's in order for you to be in perfect alignment or with in greater alignment with what with that which would resonate with the truth of your soul or the truth of your being, the truth of who you are. I feel like you guys are going through a period right now where you are dealing with uh, certain situations, individuals, re uh, relationships, business opportunities, jobs, whatnot, whatever, however this resonates for you. I feel like you're going through a period right now, Pisces, of being forced to change, being forced to reshape yourself. And what I'm, and you're and with that, your heart says, no, I am not going to conform. I am not going to change myself just to be acceptable by you. And I feel like you are being led towards you're being led to let go of these circumstances or situations in order to make space for the job, the business opportunity, the friends, the family members, I want to say, maybe future potential family members, the lover. The lovers, ooh, <laughs> that would be in direct alignment with the truth of who you are. They're not going to want you to change. Okay, stop shuffling there. That's not, okay. They're not going to want you to change. They're going to love you. They're going to accept you. They're going to take you in exactly as you are. You're being influenced to love yourself enough to allow yourself to let go of the situations, the circumstances that try to reshape you for their own wishes. Okay. All right. You have quite a bit of cards here. Okay. I'm going to take all of them. All right. Wow. Okay. So you have imagination, 
excuse me guys, you have imagination, you have breathe, and you have connection. So first of all, um, what these cards are saying to you to me here for you is imagination is speaking to your intuition uh what it is you're dreaming of i feel like pisces um your intuition is influencing your imagination imagination right now is filling your imagination with the possibilities and the potential of the future and what i want to say for you here at pisces is if you can dream it then you can be it you can manifest it you can own it okay you're needing to just breathe you're needing to breathe in and allow it breathe into this connection i feel like there is actually a connection for you out there that you might know of that you may have been resisting or um holding back from because of certain circumstances maybe because maybe this is a love situation in which you have not been allowing yourself to open up to it because of um, past identity, uh, uh, past circumstances, um, uh, ways that people made you believe about who you are. Interesting. But you're, but you're being influenced to breathe here, okay? Because your imagination is giving you images or giving you signs of the potential of your future, of what it is you could really have in terms of these connections, in terms of relationships, whatnot, whatever. It might be freaking you out. It might be tripping you up. You might be panicking. I'm hearing overexerting yourself, saying to yourself, uh, it, it might be causing anxiety within you because it goes exactly against what it is you've learned or who it is you're being told to be. But you're needing to breathe here. Just breathe. Focus on your breath to allow that sense of anxiety to wash away from you. And to help you understand that you do have a strong connection. You are in perfect harmony. I'm so sorry, guys. I know that was gross. You are in perfect harmony here, Pisces. Okay? You did just breathe into this. The more you allow yourself to breathe and relax into this connection, the more you will be able to be present. Okay, the next three cards you have are be present, healing energy, and the path. Okay, so this is the journey forward. And it is kind of dark and gloomy and kind of weird and scary. But you are on the right path. You are on the path towards something greater, Pisces. Okay. You really are. It's kind of a windy road. You don't know where it's going to lead right now. But I feel like the only thing that you are, you can say that you are sure of is that there is something greater for you. There is something better for you. And that's what your imagination is bringing forward for you. And also Pisces, you're a very imaginative type of energy, okay? You are a strongly intuitive energy. Arguably, arguably, maybe the strongest of the water signs. Okay. Your imagination is okay. See, this is also why you're needing to breathe because what your imagination is, is influencing you to move forward towards the, the path towards it is kind of scary. And I feel like the scariest aspect of it right now is not necessarily what you're going to encounter on the path, but it's what you're needing to leave behind or how you're needing to stand your ground or assert yourself to say, no, I'm going to follow my heart. I'm going to follow my intuition. I'm going to follow my imagination. Again, if I can dream it, I can be it. I can see it. I can achieve it. And I'm going to allow myself to start to take those steps down that path towards achieving it, regardless as to what you say about me or regardless as to how you feel about this path of mine. Okay? This path does um, involve healing energy. There is healing, and this, okay, see, this is that green that I was seeing in the beginning of the reading. Now, the green does represent the heart chakra. It can at least represent the heart chakra, but it wasn't like the heart chakra is more of an emerald green, and what I was seeing was more of kind of like a pale green, and it very much um, a pale or maybe a pastel green, and that's really, you see that in some of the colors here, okay? The, the, the feeling that the energy that's coming forward towards you, Pisces, is an, a healing energy. And you're needing to be present with that so that you can understand and gain the guidance 
towards or for the path that you are being influenced to move forward down at this time, okay? You're really, uh, uh, what's going, you're really being influenced or you're really being asked and guided to just breathe. Because also while you breathing and, and allowing yourself to breathe out all of that anxiety, allowing, uh, allowing yourself to um, focus on your breath is also going to allow you to be present. And being present is going to allow you to receive the guidance that you are needing from your imagination, okay? Your imagination, your intuitive ability, your intuitive hits are very strong right now. You really need to trust that. If you're going to trust anything in life and in existence, it has got to be your intuition. Your intuition doesn't lie. Intuition doesn't, isn't in the business of lying. Your intuition would never lie to you. Your intuition is there to serve your highest good. Your intuition is guidance from your higher self and your higher self loves you. Your higher self would never lie to you. They have, your, your higher self has no reason to lie to you, okay? Be present, allow yourself to be present. And in order to do that, you've got to allow yourself to breathe and breathe deeply, okay? All right, Pisces, let's get some more here. Let's get into some tarot. Clarify this situation for Pisces. What's going on in this situation? What does Pisces need to know at this time? I'm definitely picking up on deception for you. I wouldn't be surprised if we see the Seven of Swords here. But I feel like there's a strong level of deception around you. And the first card you have here is the Three of Cups in reverse. There are deceptive individuals around you. If it's not deceptive individuals, it's um, individuals that you are, are not in the, that are not in the proper alignment with you. Whatever, whomever it is that you have around you, the people around you that are trying to give you guidance or whatnot, whatever, or like I said earlier in the reading, that are trying to make you shift and change yourself to be more in alignment with what they, it is they want for you or how they see you or how they think it is you should be. Nope, don't do it. This is, this is not the proper alignment. These individuals are in fact not in harmony with you while you are in perfect harmony with the universe, with yourself. Your first card here is perfect harmony. Allow yourself to be in this perfect harmony. Understand that whatever it is, these social associations, these groups of people, whatnot, whatever, However it is, they are influencing you to change and shift to match their liking or to match their vision. Whatever it is they're saying to you about how about you, who you are or who you're meant to be or whatnot, whatever, this is not in alignment with you, okay? The next card you have is the Knight of Pentacles. And that is, I feel like, is definitely an influence on your path. See this through, Pisces. Yep. And then you have the, okay, and then you have the Page of Swords and Death. All right, so for the month of September, if this is resonating for you specifically in the month of September, uh, this Page of Swords energy is definitely speaking to Mercurial energy. And Mercury is going retrograde this month, starting on the 9th of September. So this Mercury retrograde period for you if this is resonating for you during the month of September specifically, but this also could still resonate for you outside of the month of September because you could learn something new at any time. But really take advantage of this, this, this Mercury retrograde energy because I really, got, I really feel like this is going to help you see through breakdowns in communication because Mercury retrograde can represent breakdowns or uh, a miscommunication, lacking in effective communication. However, I feel like you're really going to be able to see very clearly the intentions behind these people's actions that are not in alignment, that are misaligned for you. And that's going to influence you towards making that transformation out of your associations with these individuals. And that's going to show you just how you can proceed Knight of Pentacles moving forward in your life. Oh, wow. Overall energy is the world. Okay. Uh, closing out an old cycle, but stepping into the new one. 
Pay very close attention to how these people communicate to, towards you, what it is they say to you. Because I, again, spirit is saying, and I feel very strongly that you are going to be able to really see the truth underneath the, 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 the truth of their intentions, whether this is during Mercury retrograde or not. And I feel like it's, this is going to be, because uh, what I'm hearing here now is it's high time for you to go through this transformation. It's high time for you to go through this death and rebirth process, for you to be reborn into this new cycle. It's high time for you to close out these circumstances and our associations that are detrimental to you, that are harmful to you, okay? That do not honor the truth of who you are. Step into this new vibration for yourself, Pisces. Because it is in, you are in perfect alignment with it, okay? I want to clarify, I want to clarify this Three of Cups. Clarify the Three of Cups in reverse for Pisces. Oh my goodness, you guys, this, you, you can't get any more clear. Three of Pentacles reversed. However it is these individuals are trying to get you to shape yourself, this is a codependent situation is what I'm hearing. These are not the type of team players that you want to be associated with. Why? Because however it is they are trying to get you to mold and or shape yourself is not true, authentic to you, is not loving to you. It's not taking into account the truth of who you are. This is a misalignment, Pisces. Okay, this is not how you want to be shaping yourself. This is not how you want to be mastering yourself. You do not master yourself by trying to change who you are intrinsically. No, you master by yourself by accepting the truth of who it is you are at the core of your being and working with that. But these people, these associations, these social groups, whatnot, whatever, this hive mind mentality, if you want to call it that, this is a misalignment, okay? This is absolutely a misalignment. Clarify the Three of Cups in reverse, please, for Pisces. Okay, with this, you have the Page of Cups and the Queen of Wands. Pa Pisces, this is your energy, the Page of Cups here. So while these individuals are trying to enforce you to be something or to influence, or, wow, okay, are trying to enforce you or force you to be something that you are not, be someone you are not. You have your intuition, your imagination, your inner self saying, we could be this instead. The page of cups, your inner child, your sense of innocence, your intuition, the page of cups, saying to yourself, this is who we can be. We can be this instead. And your guidance here is to allow yourself to be that. Again, pay very close attention. Page of Swords. Pay very close attention to how these people communicate to you and what it is they say to you. Because that's going to give you a bird's eye view. I'm even hearing for many of you, for some of you, a shocking view as to what their true intentions are for you. And that's also going to allow you to lead the way forward. It's going to give you information and or insight in how it is you can or need to be moving forward towards this death and transformational process or this transformation into a greater sense of self. Overall energy at the bottom of the deck, clarifying the three of cups in reverse, you do have the four of pentacles. These people, and now look, look, Pisces, I really don't want to demonize these people. I don't. Because really the message here is just that this is not, this is a misalignment for you. Okay. How it is, however, maybe it's in alignment for them. Maybe it works for them. Maybe that's true and authentic for them, but it's not true and authentic for you. They are holding on to some sort of foundation that I'm hearing that you don't want to experience, that you don't need to experience. And maybe they're trying to hold on to this sense of this foundation. They're trying to hold on to this whatnot, whatever, because maybe it is they don't want to they don't want to accept the truth of who they are or they don't want to see you move on away from them, because then that means that, oh, well, maybe there's something wrong with me. Maybe there's something in misalignment with me. There's a, this is an egoic thing. But that doesn't matter. 
Because what matters here is you are in fact in perfect harmony. There is perfect harmony within you and you need to choose to express that, okay? Let's clarify this page of swords. Clarify the page of swords for Pisces, please. Mm. Gemini energy, first card you have is the lovers, but a choice of your highest good. I'm telling you, Pisces, pay very close attention, okay? Seek to understand how it is they're communicating with you. Pay very close attention to how they're communicating with you. Specifically, I'm hearing what it is they're saying to you. That's going to give you direct insight into how you can choose to move forward. That's going to give you direct insight into what the choice, the best choice for you would be in terms of serving your highest good, serving your sense of perfect harmony. Okay? It is ultimately your choice. And I'm also, <clears throat> I'm kind of picking up on here that maybe some of the ways that these people are communicating with you or some of the things that they're saying to you are very forceful, trying to get you to believe that you don't have a choice. Oh, but you do. Everybody has their right to free will. And again, Pisces, I feel like if you are really choosing the truth of who you are, that is a direct affront to them because they are not choosing the truth of who they are. They are choosing to conform. Again, I'm not trying to pass judgment here. I'm just saying, you don't have to conform, Pisces. The best thing for you to conform to, or conform with, I guess, grammar, syntax, I don't know, grammar, I don't know. The best choice you can make in terms of conformity is conforming to the truth of yourself, the individual that you were created to be. That's the best choice. That's the best form of conformity you could accept. You could dive into. Clarify the page of swords, please. Ace of cups. This is all influencing you to love yourself. Again, Pisces, I'm getting very, very strongly here that you are going to be able to see, perceive of how you can better love yourself. And that's by, not by accepting what these people are trying to shove down your throat. Anything else? One last card. Aha. Ace of Swords reversed to the Three of Swords reversed. Saying no to the pain. Saying no to the heartbreak. And instead, choosing to love yourself. Ace of Cups upright with the lovers. And all of that comes from you being very observant in terms of how these people approach you, what these people are saying to you, also, Pisces, what I'm getting with this is that you could get a view into how it is they speak to themselves, how it is they feel about themselves. And that right there could be a strong insight, a strong level of insight for you in saying, oh, no, I don't want to follow what this person is saying. If they're saying this type of these type of things to me, if they're approaching the, my, me in this way, think about how they approach themselves. Think about the things that they say for themselves, to themselves, about themselves. Do you really want to be taking advice from people like that? That obviously don't love themselves or don't appreciate themselves? Do you? I sure don't. But ultimately that's your choice. Of, ooh, yes, Pisces. Overall energy is the seven of wands here. Standing your ground in terms of the opposition, saying no, retaining your right to choose, baby. Yes, yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Let's clarify the Knight of Pentacles for you. Clarify the Knight of Pentacles for Pisces. Hi, Jinx. What's up, baby girl? It's my cat. Uh, clarify the Knight of Pentacles, please. The Six of Cups. The past is going to be a very strong level of insight for you in terms of what it is you can and or need to do to move forward slowly but surely, okay? But you are in this Knight of Pentacles energy. You are, in fact, moving on from the past. And again, I really don't want to pass judgment on these people. It is what it is. They are who they are, and they're going through their own transformational process as well. They'll get there when they're ready. But this Knight of Pentacles energy is all about moving forward from the past. The past is just it, the past. And maybe these people, these, these associations, whatnot, whatever, maybe they resonated with you at one point. But that's just it. It's the past. And it needs to be allowed to stay in the past, to remain in the past. You are allowed to move forward. 
Next card you have to clarify this, the Fool. It's time for you to take a leap of faith and to start your new journey. If you remember, the world was at the bottom of the deck initially when I first pulled all these cards. So this is about you closing out that old cycle, releasing yourself from the past so that you can start your new one, so that you can take a leap of faith into the unknown, so that you can take your first steps on this new path. Where is the... Oh. Well, it's underneath a bunch of tarot cards, but there is a new path that you are about to, you are about to, you are getting ready to embark on. Clarify the Knight of Pentacles, please. The Tower. Mars energy. Also Scorpio energy, death and transformation. We do have death here. Okay. Now the Tower um, I'm picking up on Mars energy and Mars is going to be retro going retrograde um, in October. October 31st is when the Mars retrograde officially starts. In terms of true sidereal astrology, Mars retrograde is in the constellation of Taurus. Mars is transiting through the constellation of Taurus right now. Um, that really gives us the tenacity the follow through, the sense of identity to go after what it is that we want, to build the new in our lives. So while this is a message coming through in the month of September, um, some of this may really start to pop off during Mars retrograde. So what I'm picking up on here is over this time period of the month of September throughout the month of, of, of October leading up to Mars retrograde for you is when you could really be in this very observant energy. Okay, because Mars moving through the constellation of Taurus is I feel like really influencing you to reshape your values or is putting you in greater alignment in terms of how you can take action towards a greater sense of values and you could really be starting to understand that the associations that you have right now pisces or the people that are trying to influence you in certain ways actually doesn't align with your values your true sense of values and mars transiting through taurus is giving you that drive that sense of identity, maybe even that sense of selfishness, if you want to call it that, to really reshape your physical reality to have a greater sense of what your values are. And then by the time Mars goes retrograde, that could be a pretty explosive time. That's when the gloves could come off. That's when you could really be asserting yourself here. That's when you could really, like, like your anger, you could be very angry during this time, but the anger would serve you well because it will give you the power to really tear this stuff down and really say, F this, I'm done with this. I'm tearing this down so I can rebuild and I can reshape for the new. It's a step-by-step -step process though. This is all clarifying the Knight of Pentacles and you are all being influenced here, Pisces, to take a leap of faith from the old, from the past and start the new for you. Yes? Okay. Oh, overall energy here is the Ten of Cups, your emotional wish fulfillment, a greater level of emotional wish fulfillment, what it is you truly want on a heart level. So that green energy that I was picking up on in the beginning of the reading is definitely your heart chakra and also that healing energy that is helping you achieve a greater sense of emotional fulfillment. Okay. Finally, I want to close. I... Mm, Okay, I want to, uh, Spirit is saying closing message, but I also, I'm curious, I want to clarify this death energy for you real quick. Clarify death for Pisces, please. The Empress. You can have whatever it is that you want. This is all about transforming out of conformity and into unconditional love for yourself because the empress here is a loving nurturing energy that loves and accepts all individuals as they truly are and meets them where they are provides them with exactly what it is that they want that comes from the truth of who they are does not ask them to conform does not ask them to be anything other than who they truly are does not say that or require them to go for things that they don't truly want 
will give them exactly what it is that they want. That's what you're transforming into. That is the energetic vibration that you're transforming into, that you're beginning to accept into your life. King of Cups, Spirit is saying it's reversed. Oh, okay, I understand. I understand. Anything else for death? With the Ace of Pentacles. Okay, all right. So this transformational process for you, again, Scorpio energy, okay? You have, the, you have the death here, which is Scorpio energy. You also have the King of Cups, which is potentially Scorpio energy. This could be, you could also be a Scorpio. You could have a Scorpio placement. You could be dealing with a Scorpio energy. But this is a negative associate. This is a negative Scorpio energy. This is a, a, an overly destructive Scorpio energy. All right. There is a level of benevolence with Scorpio in terms of death and transformation. Uncovering to transform okay there is a level of benevolence there but but if this is not a scorpio energy for you well it would represent scorpio energy in the transformation that the death and the transformation that's being reiterated here but what you are coming out of or what you're being influenced to transform out of are individuals that are not emotionally available not emotionally mature not emotionally aware not emotionally stable and maybe even emotionally manipulative spicy spices ooh, spicy energy no that was uh, whatever <laughs> but yeah emotionally manipulative individuals that say to you well if you really love us then you will conform to what it is we say for you no fuck that straight up and down gloves are coming off at this point pisces fuck that okay you are being provided with an opportunity to leave behind these emotionally manipulative energies and accept unconditional love for yourself in your life. And that is going to lead you to relationships that reflect that for you. But you've got to let go of these toxic associations first. Wow. Um, this could be leading you to divine partnership. Overall energy is the emperor. You have the emperor and the empress here showing up, clarifying this transformation for you. This could absolutely be leading you towards a really beautiful, loving relationship in the very near future. You could already have this person in your vicinity. This person could already be aware of you. You could already be aware of this person. But it's these negative associations, these negative social circles that keep you guys from actually being together, from loving each other unconditionally. But if it's not that for you, even though I am picking up on some strong love vibes, if it's not that for you, the overall energy is the emperor here of saying, no, I am the master of my own life. I call the shots for me. And I am choosing to love and honor myself as I truly am, which means I am following this path. And you are not going to stop me. We don't have to be at war with each other. We don't have to be enemies. But... You will not stop me because I get to choose for myself, says the emperor. Beautiful Pisces. I'm going to close this reading out with the lover's oracle for you. Yes? Yes. Closing message for Pisces, please, spirit. Closing message for Pisces, please. Woo, woo, that's, woo. Shut up. All right, I'm just gonna take it. It's a lot of, it's a lot. It's a lot, but I'm gonna take it because the first card that came out in this stack is that divine union right there. Twin flames. Your passion ignites, okay? Then you have sexual union. Honor the place in one another where you are one eternal soul for there you will find true bliss. Oh my God, Pisces, look at this. Look at this. So, if this really is resonating for you in terms of love, which I feel like is the dominant vibration here, you, you really may be aware of this person. This person may really be aware of you. There's also more of that green energy. Secret admirer. Someone has deeper feelings for you than they are letting on. But it's these negative and toxic well, we can call it toxic. It's just these, th these individuals that are, th this is hindering you because this is requiring you to be something that you're not, 
which is effectively holding you back from this divine partner, from this true love for someone who, holding you back from someone that is really like, oh my God, so enamored with you, okay? Look at this, Pisces, a message for you. I'm thinking of you this very moment. Your love fills me with light. I love you. But then, finally, you have, wait, don't rush into it. Allow nature to take its course. And that's absolutely what we've been saying here for you with this Page of Swords energy, okay? And also, this Knight of Pentacles energy. Take it step by step, moment by moment, instant by instant. Allow the process to unfold naturally. naturally. Do not rush this. Because I'll tell you what, Pisces, this person has been admiring you for a long time. This person has very, very deep feelings for you. This person isn't going anywhere. Okay? So allow yourself to take the process that is necessary. Don't rush. You don't need to rush. What's, what is for you will be for you, will not pass you. Okay? Oh, Pisces, I love this. I'm going to leave it there. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I hope this was helpful for you. Please make sure to smash that like button for me. Leave me a comment in the comment section down below claiming this reading. If this resonates for you, Pisces, if you really truly want this to... Oh, shut up. Look, Pisces, I wanted to pick this up for you to show you this. If this divine union energy doesn't even have to be twin flames, it doesn't have to be like all that, all that massive. It's just two individuals that complement each other on a very strong level. If this resonates for you, claim it. Leave a comment in the comment section down below claiming this. But look at what was underneath the emperor at the bottom of the deck. The two of cups, Pisces. And you also have the lovers here. Oh, well, I just threw it. But <laughs> divine union is upon you. And you deserve to have this, okay? Now, if you would like to get a personal reading with me, I am available for that. Check the information in the description box below. Shoot me an email letting me know you're interested and I'll be more than pleased as punch to get you all hooked up. But with that said, Pisces, I hope you have a fantastic day and I look forward to connecting with you again for our next reading very, very soon. Yes? Excellent. Bye. <laughs>